Lastly, our next game is number 17 Clemson versus number 8 SMU in the ACC championship game at Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte at 8 p.m. Uh, the ESPN FPI has SMU at a weird number, uh, 53.7%. Uh, and the spread also being in SMU's favor by two and a half points. Um, Clemson coming off of a tough loss against South Carolina, uh, really showing that adjustments are not our defensive coordinator's specialty. Uh, in fact, he did quite the opposite in uh, taking out uh, a top player in Sammy Brown in the second half, even though he was hot in the first half um, and, you know, ended up, selling the game within the last minute um, to an offense that we were somewhat able to hold uh, a little bit in the first half. Meanwhile, SMU has been a very well-rounded def- uh, offense. Um, and, you know, their defense isn't all too bad either. Now, they haven't really played all that much of opponents. Um, really, their name kind of got put on the map uh, when they beat Florida State. Um that's kind of when everybody started to notice them. Now we all know where Florida state is now, um, but they continued to win games, continued to win out and actually was the first team to clinch the ACC championship game. Uh, Of course, Miami having to lose in order for Clemson to be in. Now this game is Clemson's only chance of making the playoffs. So there's a lot on the line for Clemson. Uh, If if SMU loses this game, I think there's a question mark there. I don't think they get knocked out uh, because, you know, within recent years, the playoff committee has said, um, you know, losing a conference championship game, you know, having that extra game um, shouldn't affect you. Uh, But as of right now, we know how inconsistent they are. So it's kind of a toss up. Uh, Clemson has more on the line compared to SMU. um, Some would believe so. Luckily, I mean, I don't got to pick first. I think we all know who I'm going to pick, but Mason, who do you think? Yeah, I think this one's a tough one. I mean, you have Clemson who has not beat a ranked team all year. Whenever they've played a tough team, they've lost. Um, SMU, on the other hand, who have they really played? They played BYU and lost. That was the only ranked team they've played, and they lost. But, I mean, they made it through the ACC schedule, which is not a super tough conference, and here they are in the ACC championship. So I I don't really know. I mean, this one's really difficult because, I mean, you have a really good SMU team who has played extremely well against a lot of teams. Their worst win being against Duke, turning the ball over six times. They haven't played like that again, and they beat down on Pitt. I mean, this 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 is a team who we kind of doubted midseason. Clemson, on the other hand, I mean, they, they've played some good ball. Don't get me wrong. You know, I mean, uh, but, but they do have some tough losses. So, unfortunately, I want to pick Clemson here because their defense. I think they are a good team. However, I am going to go with SMU here um, just because I think this is the team that's, that, that's going to win this game. Um, Clemson's track record is, is what's, what's wanting to make me pick this team uh, or is making me want to pick this team. So, that's who I'm picking, SMU. Yeah, I... <laughs> It's understandable. Um, We all know who I'm going to pick. I'm going to be picking the Clemson Tigers uh, all day, any day. Uh, Now, I will say this play calling needs to be better, not just on the defensive side, but the offensive side. Adjustments need to be made on the defensive side uh, properly because you look at the South Carolina game, Cade Klubnick did not lose that game. Our offense, our offensive players did not lose that game. Were there two skeptical calls? Sure. I'm not going to argue no. about it. Okay. First of all, the catch by Wesco was definitely a catch. I don't know how you say he's out of bounds, but it was a catch. The toss play, whatever. Never had I don't even know control of the ball. It. Sure. Whatever. You believe what you want. But <laughs> at the end of the day, the players didn't lose the game. It was the coaching, and this has been a common theme this season. I mean, we start out first first half against Georgia, and we're doing great, and all of a sudden, at least defensively, and then all of a sudden def- defensively in the second half, we're like, you know what? Throw out the playbook. Let's just <sighs> not play defense. Yeah, let's just stop. All right, and then, of course, offensive play calling did get better throughout the season, 
But, you know, in those tougher games, it kind of became questionable. What we saw in the South Carolina game, they got too conservative with the play calls. And that that's really where they lost it. They needed to keep their foot on the on the pe- gas pedal. Um, it's a rivalry game. I don't care if you run up the score. Um, but I still got Clemson in this. Um, I'm always going to pick Clemson. I think SMU very much could win this. But, you know, this this is somewhere Clemson has been for many years. This is the first year for SMU. So I like the way Joey finished that thought. This is the first year for SMU and their membership of the all now all coast conference. And Clemson on the other hand has been there many times for that reason. I really, 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 really want to pick Clemson in this game, but I am going to go with SMU. I think the Mustangs win on Saturday night. I'm going to be honest. I want Clemson to win this game. I really do. I want Clemson to make the playoff, like for all the reasons. If, like Clemson, if, the, if the, Clemson wins, Bama gets left out. This is, please. But I'm, like I said, I'm going to be honest. I, I want Clemson to win this game. I might even bet on them. I might bet against myself in this pick. I don't even know, right? But with that said, I, I I do think SMU wins this game. I want Clemson to win. Track record. I like Davo. They're my second favorite Tigers. Um, they're they're pretty local to us. Like I, mean, I don't I don't hate Clemson. You know. Uh, bucket list stadium, all the things. I want Dabo to win this game, but unfortunately, I do think SMU for the pick record. I think the Mustangs win on Saturday night in Charlotte, um, and I think that cover spread was two and a half. Yeah, I like SMU by a field goal, maybe a touchdown. I think it's a close game. I don't think SMU blows them out, um, but their first year in the All Coast Conference, I think they get the win. I will say this: I think if Clemson wins, they're going to win by at least 14. If Clemson ends up winning this game, it's going to be that type of game where they're going to win by 14. They're going to show SMU what's up and uh, it's going to be a big game. It's going to be a big win. 